Williams County Public Schools Energy Management Team was formed in July 2012. Through collaboration between students, teachers, librarians, custodians, office staff, IT, cafeteria workers, and administration, the school division has saved over $30 million in utility costs. Per Regulation 494-1, which you can read online, the energy management team focuses on four main areas of energy conservation, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, better known as HVAC, lighting, computer equipment, and water conservation. As you prepare to start the school year, help us continue to save money and promote being green by including energy conservation as a part of your daily routine. If you find that your classroom or workspace is not comfortable, for example, it's too cold or too warm, it might mean that the HVAC system is not running efficiently. The school division's HVAC department works hard to conduct preventative maintenance on HVAC equipment, but sometimes the equipment breaks. If there's an issue, don't hesitate to call the energy management team. A team member can come in and verify the temperature or humidity readings. When students are gone for the day, the HVAC is set in an unoccupied room mode. It doesn't mean that the HVAC is turned off. If you're in a trailer, we ask that you please adjust the thermostat before you leave for the day. If you are leaving your room, please turn off the lights. This includes if you're just going to chat with another staff member or taking students to an encore or the cafeteria. If your classroom has an occupancy sensor that turns the lights off automatically, find out how long it takes before it turns off. If it's not turning off or takes too long, someone from the electrical department can come out to adjust or fix the sensor. But you don't have to rely on it. You can always turn out the lights by flipping the switch. We appreciate our custodians across the division for turning lights on and off as they go through classrooms to clean. Before you leave work at the end of the day, take a moment to shut down all computer equipment. This includes computer monitors, printers, speakers, smart boards, and projectors. The IT department asks that computers stay on Wednesday and or Thursdays for important IT updates. You can still turn off the monitor, but leave the hard drive on. If an update is missed, your computer will need to be restarted when you turn it back on the next day. There are over 70,000 computers, laptops, MacBooks, Chromebooks, and netbooks throughout the school division. If everyone takes a few minutes at the end of each day to turn off all computer items, the savings will add up. Finally, if you see any dripping faucets or water fountains, please report it. Drips add up quickly and can impact water bills. If you would like to participate in our energy program and help earn $2,000 for your school, sign up for our energy challenge. Schools that have the best energy programs are ones with students involved. Conserving energy and promoting green culture saves energy dollars and provides great lessons for students.